Hola, hola. My name is Ramon, cosmetic chemist, esthetician, lover of all things Korean sunscreen. And recently on my Instagram, I did a poll, well, not a poll, I posted a question asking what are, in my followers' opinions, the hottest Korean sunscreens of the season, of the summer, just because, I mean, obviously I have my favorites, but I feel like this summer there was a surge of new sunscreens or new brands coming out with sunscreens. So I wanted to ask like, what were the hottest sunscreens of the summer? Just because surprisingly I had not tried a handful of these. And today we're gonna to be getting into it. Do note, I am doing part of this video in collaboration with Skin1004, which is not a surprise. I've worked with them before. I love them as a skincare brand. So I'll be featuring one of their sunscreens in this video, but actually that sunscreen had at least, I think, 10 entries in terms of like people saying it was a really great sunscreen for the summer. So I'm excited to highlight that as well as all of these other ones. Some of these are ones that I bought while I was in Korea. Some of these are ones that you can get easily on Amazon, Yes Style, Style Korean, Style Vana. Fundamentally, most of these are sunscreens I tested during the summer, or I'd say they're more summer appropriate sunscreens just because they're lighter weight gel, gel cream textures for the most part. I'll say that again. But a lot of these I will also say are actually from Colmar. And if you're not aware, Colmar is like the sunscreen manufacturer in Korea. So a lot of brands have gone to them in the last year or two to formulate their sunscreens. So what's interesting is that the brands will buy a base formula, add specific ingredients to tailor the sunscreen to their brand, to their specific idea for the line the sunscreen is going to fit into. So fundamentally, some of these have the same base formulation, but to me, they're each in their own right, different from one another. And that's going to play into to how it feels on the skin, the finish on the skin, or the overall texture. So as always, links for all these and discount codes will be down below in the description box. So make sure you check those out and let's get into it. As always for all these, I'm gonna be showing you application footage. So you can see how it looks like on bare skin. You can gauge if there's a cast or what the finish is on the skin. I measure out each of the sunscreens based off how much sunscreen I know I need for my face. If you wanna know how to measure your face to find out how much sunscreen you need to be wearing, I have the card up here that you can click to see that video. And I'll be talking about the filters, other formulation points, if there's fragrance and alcohol and eye sting. And if you want to go to a specific sunscreen, I'll have timestamps down below and you can scrub to the specific part of the video you want to watch. So getting started with Skin1004, again, I am doing this part of the video in collaboration with the brand. This is their Madagascar Centella Hyaluseca Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. Reading some of the marketing behind this, this is fitted with SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. This serum-like sunscreen is made with a golden ratio of hyaluronic acid and Centella Asiatica, it's in the name, Hyaluseca, to soothe and hydrate without leaving a white cast. In addition, additional ingredients of arugula leaf, green tea, and broccoli extract provide antioxidant benefits and help to improve underlying skin conditions. So the application of this, what I do appreciate as the brand mentions is this is a very light, I'd say like gel cream texture. This works into the skin really easily. For me, I find that the feel and the finish on the skin is of a hydrating gel. It feels like you're putting on a like gel moisturizer. It sits nice and light on the skin. It makes your skin look very hydrated. So you get a nice surge of like juicy plump skin. And on top of that, as I mentioned, you have ingredients that offer antioxidant benefits and offer soothing benefits as well. And as I did mention, I have done ads with Skin1004 just because I really like their Centella line as well as their Hyaluseca line. And Hyaluseca just means hyaluronic acid and Centella Asiatica. You have a few different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid as well as Centella Asiatica extract to help hydrate the skin, help give you those nice soothing benefits and the antioxidant benefits. I am currently on Tret and let me tell you, my skin right now, very dry, very tight. So sunscreen like this, I mean, even during summer or as we're transitioning from summer into fall, is really helpful because A, I don't like anything heavy on my skin, but I do need that extra surge of hydration, the extra surge of light skin moisturization in the daytime because without that, my skin just feels really tight. I mean, it's still even peeling right now. And I don't find the sunscreen or any of the sunscreens in this video, honestly, to be very greasy, but this does give your skin a nice healthy glow. For UV filters, this uses Uvenol A+, and Uvenol T150, Tinasorb M, and Evasorb HEB. Do note, with this one and a good handful of the sunscreens in here, Tinasorb M is used in these. And I personally have no issue for the most part with Tinasorb M, but what's worth noting is that Tinasorb M is an insoluble particle. And what that means is that it is a small solid particle. It's a particle that doesn't dissolve in the formula. It stays as a small little solid piece. So it's very similar to mineral filters, even though it is technically a chemical filter. So because of that, there is the potential for a white cast on deeper skin tones. I know my friend Julian, AKA Scamanda14, this is something that he talks about a lot in his database if you wanna check that out. I don't have an issue with this for deeper skin tones. Just be cautious that it might leave a cast on you. Aside from that, this does feature niacinamide, green tea extract, adenosine, vitamin E, and ginkgo biloba. And so with that, those ingredients, again, are just supporting the soothing claims, the skin moisturizing claims, as well as the antioxidant benefits. And this one is obviously alcohol and fragrance and essential oil free. So if you have sensitive skin, this is one worth considering. This does have a slight smell to it. To me, it kind of smells a little bit grenadine-y, like fake cherry, but that's from the natural extracts that are in this. So another really popular answer when I posted the question was obviously Beauty of Josan, their Relief Sun Rice Probiotic Sunscreen. This is, I mean, I love this. This is one of my go-tos. It never fails me. This is the one I reach 
for a lot. To me, out of all of the Colmar sunscreens, this is the most lightweight, in my opinion. And this is like one of the most beloved sunscreens in the skincare community. This is like always sold out. And I think the reason for me why this just stands out is A, again, it's one of the lighter textures, but also it's just one of the cheapest. So the marketing on this, SPF 50 plus, PA4 plus, obviously, Beauty Joseon is a lightweight and quick absorbing texture that doesn't leave a white cast. Additional ingredients of rice extract and grain derived probiotics help keep skin supple and hydrated. This is another Colmar sunscreen. So filter wise, this does have Uvinol A plus and Uvinol T150, Tinosorb M and Uvisorb HEB. So do note with a Tinosorb M, potential for a cast. We can see on my skin, this just melts in. This just works in no effort. It sets down really quick. I have a nice healthy glow, again, not greasy. To me, this is the most lightweight of the Colmar sunscreens. And again, having that rice and the probiotics, it just really helps to hydrate the skin, help really support the skin's moisturization without it being heavy on the skin. This also, like the Skin 104, it does have niacinamide adenosine, but the rice extract and probiotic is what makes this different. And plus it also has ginseng, which I also love. So yeah, comparing these two, this has a centella and the different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, which I really like for the hydration and the soothing. And this one is rice and probiotics. So it's just helping to hydrate the skin in a different capacity. And this one is alcohol fragrance and essential oil free, if I'm not mistaken. So this could be a good option also if you have sensitive skin. Next up was one I had to go and get. This is from a brand. I think I've tried one product for, for one of my like one ingredient routine videos. And the brand is Mary and May. And this is their Sika Soothing Sun Cream, SPF 50 plus PA4 plus. This is another Colmar sunscreen. Again, I had a lot of answers for this and I had not really tried this before. The marketing behind this is that it's a multifunctional, re-friendly, Sun cream that moisturizes and soothes skin offers skin brightening and anti-aging effects. SPF 50 plus, PA4 plus, has 10,000 parts per million of an F Sika complex, which is a complex that contains seven centella Asiatica derivatives fermented with yeast for soothing effect. And then it's lightweight, absorbs quick without leaving cast. The big standouts to me for this is, I think out of the three sunscreens I've not mentioned, this is the richest in texture to me. This leaves a cast. So I don't know what the difference is because it is a Colmar sunscreen, similar filters to the other two sunscreens screens, but this just sits heavier and just has more of a cast tone up, very, very slight tone up on me, especially my facial hair and my hairline. And this also has a heavy fragrance. This smells like basil. But you can see when I put it on, it works in easily. It works in nice. It's not a heavy, like an elegant texture. It is more of a cream in terms of like that gel cream texture. This has very similar to the other two ingredients that are going to help hydrate the niacinamide, the adenosine, all that. And it's interesting is that they advertise the niacinamide as having like skin brightening. So helping to affect the appearance of pigment while the the other two having niacinamide don't mention that benefit at all. So it's interesting that they chose to go with that approach. But yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this one, but if you have more dry skin and you're my shade or fairer, this might be one worth considering if you specifically love a basil smell. If you love smelling like pizza, this could be one for you. But this was actually kind of a miss to me. So this one is one I bought while I was in Korea. This is from a brand called SNP, and that stands for Shining Nature Purity. This is their cool UV Protect Air Cool Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA4 plus. This one wasn't really one that people talked about in my question, but it was one one I really had to bring up because A, I tried it for summer, B, I think it's a great summer sunscreen, and C, it's a Colmar formula, like the other ones I mentioned, but it's a very different Colmar formula. T behind this is that it is a cooling sun cream to soothe irritated and heated skin instantly by protecting skin from UV rays. I bought this while I was at Olive Young in Korea, and I bought this mad cheap. And again, because it was Olive Young, I bought a two for the price of one special. You can see it works into the skin. It is a light, very light gel cream, melts in instantly, don't have to really work it in. Your skin is hydrated. It has a nice healthy glow to it. I mean, it, you look kind of dewy, but it's not greasy. This is basically the Korean version of the Biore Aqua Rich Watery Essence, in my opinion. Also, this is a really great texture because it is similar to the Biore one. I love this one for reapplication over makeup specifically. This does have alcohol, but it's fragrance and essential oil free. So just note that that's also lends to it being similar to Biore. In terms of filters, this has Uvinol T150, a capsule, which is also mixoral, one of the mixorals, Uvinol A+, polysilicone 15, and Tinasorb S, and verified SPF 51 and PA4 plus also features niacinamide. So that Colmar sunscreen, prickly pear, aloe, vitamin E, and then a handful of other botanical extracts. I would say fundamentally to me, this is a super lightweight, hydrating sunscreen that has some soothing and antioxidant benefits to it. But again, if you love the Biore Aqua Rich Watery Essence and you maybe want a Korean version, there's this. I did see that it was $27 for two on Olive Young's global website, which is interesting and worth noting. This is not water and sweat resistant though, like the Biore one 
is, so that's just worth mentioning. But this was an instant favorite when we tried it in Korea, and my boyfriend also was hooked on this. This is a really nice sunscreen, and so finding out it is a Colmar sunscreen, but it's so different from the other formulas, was worth noting. So I would say this is actually a little bit lighter than the Beauty of Joseon one, but this one does have alcohol, whereas the three I've mentioned prior don't have alcohol in them. Next up is a brand that I use very frequently on this channel. I quite enjoy the brand. It's from Sun By Me. It is a True Sika Aqua Calming Sun Cream, SPF 50 plus, PA4 plus. Some of the tea behind this is that this effectively fends off UV rays while soothing skin with this lightweight sunscreen fitted with broad spectrum SPF 50 plus protection. It contains skin soothers like Sika, Aloe, Vera Leaf Extract, and White Water Lily Extract and won't leave a cast. This dermatologically tested sunscreen is a summer must have, and so it's in this video, for those with sensitive skin. This is one I saw while shopping on Yes Style, so I did buy this one. That's because A, I really like Sun By Me products. I had recently tried the Mineral sunscreen that's in the same line. Horrible, horrible cast. I believe that's on my channel already. But seeing this and seeing it was a chemical formula, I was like, oh, we have to try this. And you can see when I apply it, honestly, this is a light, like lotion texture sunscreen. This is actually the only non-Komar sunscreen in this video. To me, this gives me Pareto teas in every sense of the word. You put this on, again, it's a light lotion, works in easily, no issue, no cast. It's moisturizing on the skin. It has a natural to kind of glowy finish, but it's not really dewy. And for UV filters, again, this is not Colmar. It's from a manufacturer called Intercost. This has Evasorb HEB, a Camsel, Evenol A+, Tinosorb S, and Evenol T150. So no insoluble particle filters and thus no white casts concern. So again, also a deep skin friendly option. And this has a smell. It is alcohol free, but this has a fragrance and essential oil in it that is kind of like a lavender leaning scent, which is why if you remember the original Pareto Centella sunscreen with the fragrance, very similar vibe overall. Texture, finish, feel, and smell. In terms of formulation, this does contain some by me signature True Sika Complex, which I mean, fundamentally, I don't actually know what that complex consists of, but obviously it's Centella based. Claim that that is soothing. And this says on the front, it has 10,000 parts per million of that True Sika Complex. This also has aloe vera and white water lily. And basically fundamentally, you're getting hydration from this, you're getting antioxidant benefits from this, and you're getting some skin soothing. But again, worth noting, this does have fragrance. This also does have niacinamide and adenosine, which is interesting because it's not a Colmar sunscreen. Aloe, purslane, panthenol, and then Centella with the derivatives. This also has tea tree and then hyaluronic acid. So this is interesting because as someone with oily acne prone skin, this is actually very in line with what I like. The finish and texture is moisturizing. So this is for summer, my moisturizer and sunscreen in one. And it's not a super lightweight gel like the other Colmar sunscreens I just mentioned. And then you have ingredients that are actually really great for oily acne prone skin. The tea tree, the centella, the panthenol, the purslane niacinamide, all really great ingredients, especially for supporting skin moisture. So this hits a lot of the boxes. This is very consistent with some by me skincare products, especially that smell. But if you have sensitive skin, I don't know if it's the best option for you. Again, this is a great sunscreen for summer. If you have oily skin and you prefer a more gel texture, I don't know if I recommend this for you. So this is, I think, a better option for like combo of normal skin types. But I personally find this really light. I personally think this preps the skin really nicely underneath makeup. And again, just do know, this doesn't have alcohol, but it does have that fragrance in this. I was very surprised by this. I really do enjoy this. And I think as we're transitioning into fall, I might still keep this in the roundup. And then the last sunscreen, I think this is a sunscreen that like had the most entries. I think was one of the hottest sunscreens of the summer from Tokobo. This is their Bio Watery Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA4 plus. Marketing behind this, this lightweight SPF 50 plus PA4 plus sun cream doesn't leave a white cast and works well under makeup. Contains 1000 parts per million mung bean extract that soothes irritation and tackles blemishes along with 1000 parts per million bio hyaluronic acid to boost skin moisture. The sunscreen is vegan and cruelty free. So for the application of this, you can see I put it on. This is the lightest out of all the sunscreens on there. This is also a Kumar formula. I was very surprised to find out, but this is basically like a light milky, like lightweight liquid. This is not like a gel cream situation like the other ones I used before. So it's a very different texture overall. This instantly melts into the skin. You barely have to even like look at it and it just like sinks into the skin. Super easy to apply, super versatile texture. It is very light, but I find that it has moisturization and hydration benefits behind it, but it's not heavy. That being said, as you can see, it does not leave a matte finish. To me, this leaves a very healthy glow that is more like natural, like satin. You have a sheen to your skin, but it's not heavy. I don't find this greasy, but I know people who have oily skin. I did a review for this on my Instagram already. And people were like, well, it's not matte. I don't love the finish of it on my skin having oily skin. And I'm like, I get that. But is the sunscreen greasy? Is the sunscreen heavy? Because those are two very different things. But formulation wise, being a Colmar sunscreen, this only has Evenol T150, a Camsole, Evenol A+, Polysilicone 15, and Tinosorb S. So no Tinosorb M, no risk for a white cast. I can 100% confirm this is deep skin friendly. And then for other ingredient points, this has skullcap roots, vitamin E, niacinamide, and adenosine, that Colmar combo, and more. 
cork tree bark extract, and then a lot of other botanical extracts. That biohyaluronic acid thing is so interesting to me because I'm like, what do you mean biohyaluronic acid? Like that is like a naturally occurring ingredient. So I'm just, I'm wondering either they're saying like, oh, this is not a synthetically derived, it is a naturally derived, in which case I'm still not blown away by that. But I think that's them maybe trying to like greenwash a little bit. But overall, hydrating, soothing, some antioxidant benefits. But again, it's interesting that this is a Colmar formula, but it's a different base formula than the first ones I mentioned. And some of the ingredients chosen for this are just very different in my opinion. This is alcohol free, but this does have fragrance. And that was my gripe when I did my review for Instagram. This smells to me the way a flower shop smells. And not in the sense that it smells floral, but it smells very planty, like plant water. Like when you get flowers and you take them home and you put them in a vase and then you like a couple days later empty out that water. What that water smells like is what this sunscreen smells like to me. So it smells very planty, which I don't love, but I like I, it's tolerable to me. It dissipates. It's kind of a similar experience to me to the Sun By Me one where I don't love lavender, but it doesn't last long. And I love the sunscreen enough in terms of texture and wear that I will put up with it and it's not a big issue. So do note that. But I mean, as the hottest sunscreen of the summer and one of the most popular entries under that Instagram story question, I understand why. It's because it is a different texture. It's super lightweight. It just sinks in right away. It is deep skin friendly. It's a really good texture, especially for summer. So I get the hype. I wish this bottle was bigger. And I mean, this is technically the standard 50 mil, but this looks so different to like what the Skin 1004 one looks like, which is still 50 mil as well. But the issue with lightweight sunscreens to me is because the application you need to put on is based more on like a density situation. This being a much more lightweight, less dense sunscreen, you need a lot more of this to get the same amount of sunscreen you would need in like a more cream-like texture. Therefore, I feel like you go through these sunscreens a lot quicker. So yeah, if I were to go through and talk about these again, just do a very quick, too long, didn't read. This is my foolproof lightweight gel cream. I have no issues with this. A really good option for reapplication over my makeup. One that I will always reach for. Skin 104, which again, I did this video in partnership with the brand. This to me is coming in clutch right now. Having really dry, tight skin as a result of my tretinoin use and I need that extra hydration, I need that soothing. This has been such a godsend in terms of giving me really nice, rich hydration while still being very lightweight. Goes great in my makeup so that I don't have weird peeling skin underneath my makeup. And I like using this in conjunction with the other products from their Centella and Hyalucica lines. This is also a Comar sunscreen. It's one of the richer formulas and I don't like that it smells like basil and this does have a tendency to leave me a cast, so worth noting. Biore Aqua Rich Watery Essence Vibes. This is a Colmar sunscreen that does not have Tinus Orb M, so no white cast, but it does leave your skin juicy and radiant. This is Pareto Centella Original Sunscreen Vibes. Overall, smell, texture, feel, and finish, which I actually really do enjoy. The texture for this is a little bit more moisturizing, so do note that, especially if you have more oily skin or you want a very, very lightweight gel cream. It's not the one. And this is the hottest sunscreen of summer based off my followers on Instagram, and I understand why. The smell for this, though, is what's really off-putting, but it's super super, super lightweight, thin, milky texture that just melts into the skin, no issues. This gives me the vibe of the La Roche-Posay and Thelios fluid, but the Korean version, if it smelled and it was a little bit more lightweight, but it's not water resistant. Let me know down below in the comments section, what are some of the other hot Korean sunscreens that you've been really enjoying this summer or that you've seen recently launch? As I mentioned before on my channel, a bunch of new sunscreens have come out recently. I do have a bunch of them. It's just trying them out and incorporating them into reviews and really putting them to the test. It's taking me a minute. I'm not someone who just slaps a sunscreen on one and we'll come out with a review. Like I need to see how it goes with different variables, makeup, weather, my daily activities. But let me know down below in the comment section if you've tried any of these, what your experience or opinions are of these and any other Korean sunscreens that I need to try in your opinion, let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen and fancy related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys.